Free tomorrow. Now, next Friday is the start of this year's Rickshaw Challenge for children in need. Yes, uh, the six teams who are the six teens who are teaming up to ride 411 grueling miles on the rickshaw have all benefited from money you've donated to children in need and want to give something back by raising money themselves. Last night we heard how Lauren had been helped in her recovery from a brain injury suffered when she was 11. Tonight it's Jack's turn. Heston, could you tell us how everyone can support Jack? Well, to show your support, text the word TEAM to 70705. Messages will cost £5 plus your standard network charge, and £5 will go to children in need. Yes, you must ask the bill payers' permission before you text. And for full terms and conditions, visit bbc.co.uk forward slash The One Show. And you can also donate any amount you like by check. Send them to the Ritual Challenge, BBC Children in Need, PO Box 1000, London W12, 7WJ. And please make them payable to BBC Children in Need. Uh, here's Jack's story. Thank you, John. My name's Jack, I'm 16 years old. I live in Romford with my dad and my sister. My ambitions in life are to become a firefighter. My dad's a firefighter, and so I sort of look up to him as my inspiration to do this job. I'm sure he'd do a fine job. I think sometimes he's more keen than I am. <laughs> That's sort of my dream job to do. That's what I'd really love to do. When I was born, I was diagnosed with something called congenital nephrotic syndrome. 18 months old, both, kid my, both my kidneys were removed and I was um, put onto a dialysis machine. The day before my fourth birthday, I had my kidney transplant and it's been good to me ever since. This is a picture of when Jack first got his dialysis machine. He must have only had that for a couple of days uh, and that's what basically kept him alive up until he had his transplant. Very happy baby. Since Jack was 12, he's participated at the British Transplant Games, which Children in Need supports. It's an annual event that promotes the health and well-being of people who've had transplants and raises awareness about organ donation. Sport is important for people who've had transplants. It's been sort of shown that the more physically active and more healthy you are, the more chances of your donated organ lasting you even longer than expected. In 2009, I was selected for the Great British team for the World Transplant Games, and I competed in Australia, and I actually managed to get a gold. So I can call myself, in a way, a world champion. <laughs> Three of these are for badminton, and one of these for table tennis. When I've won gold medals, I see little kids in our, in our hospital team saying, I want to be just like Jack. They all look up to me and all come to me after and say, well done, well done, all this sort of stuff. And I say, oh, thank you. Please. This is my bike and this is what I've been used to train on for the, for the rickshaw challenge. Like anyone who has had a kidney transplant, Jack takes daily medication. And he must also take extra care to drink plenty of fluids, as dehydration could cause him serious problems. The illnesses and things that Jack has overcome is a concern, but he is fit and well and as healthy as he has been for many years. He's very much aware that it's going to be hard work, but hard work hasn't deterred him in anything else. Having a donated organ doesn't make any difference to what you can still do. Children need support to chance to support UK, and without the money that they give, I wouldn't have done half the stuff that I've done today, like carrying an Olympic torch. The Ritual Challenge is sort of like me sort of giving something back. I'm definitely up for it. I really can't wait to do it, if I'm perfectly honest. He's up for it, the he boy. Is up for it. So that was Jack, and you'll meet the other four next week. Thank you so much, Heston. Fantastical Thank food is on Thank next you. Tuesday, Channel 4. Happy Christmas. Happy Two Christmas. seconds to say goodbye. One.